Welcome to Windward TV. Today we have Chris Brown on the show. Welcome, Chris. Hi, Kevin. And in this episode, we're going to be covering off how that information that your point of sale or your cash register is collecting can be utilized to make profitable business decisions, to be able to pull out information and, and really make the best bang for your buck when buying inventory. Now, Chris, tell us a little bit about your background prior to starting at Windward. Prior to starting at Windward, I ran my own garden center for 20 years. I also had a production greenhouse, so I have both the production and the retail experience with the industry. That's fantastic. So that perspective, that entrepreneur perspective. So now you're working in our implementation team? That is correct. And so helping business owners? Set up their point of sale system so that they can get the most out of that system and use it for their businesses. So you were sharing uh, earlier when we were talking off camera just about uh, a perspective or, or what you kind of bring to the table. What, what exactly do you feel is, is often forgotten or underutilized? When a lot of people look at a point of sale inventory management system, they're looking for high and low limits on inventory. And that's great for a business where your sales volumes are the same, you know, week in, week out. But in a seasonal based industry such as the garden center world, you're better off to look at what your sales were over the time frame from last year. So one of the things that I often set up for the clients that I'm working with is a feature within Windward called sales over date range. Mm -hmm. So I can often set up the system so that you can look at a date range from the day you open your retail to either Canada Day or July 4th, which is your prime selling season. And then you can look at that to drive your orders for the following season rather than going to the trade show and getting hand, handed that sheet by the salesman of what you bought last year rather than what you actually sold last year at full price. Oh, so this is about selling at full price versus having to discount to move that, the extra inventory that you really shouldn't have ordered and, but did because it was convenient to say, okay, this is what I bought last year, I will buy that again because I don't have any of it left. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't always remember when you get to the show how you got, you know, how you move those last few items, whether it was by discounting it or putting it into promotion. And also things change with trends. So you want to be able to look at what you sold last year and maybe even the year before and see whether that's trending up or trending down. And then you can change those numbers in Excel so that you know what you should order to cover, you know, where you're going to be most profitable. And that's oh, at full price. Powerful. Yeah. Uh, you talked about uh, same as last year. Oh, <laughs> uh, Sally. Sally uh, it was, it was an, an acronym that we, we came up with in our business. Uh, people would bring their empty containers back to us for the, to be refilled, and they would say, well, I want it same as last year. So the girls would write on the ticket or in the book, Sally. And that way, whoever was planting up those baskets would then go get last year's book, open it up and see what the customer planted. Mm -hmm. The issue came about, comes about two or three years down the road, you're opening up last year's book and it says Sally. So you go back one more book, it says Sally. And then you go back to the book you can't read anymore and you know, you're lost. So a good point of sale system such as Winward would allow you go, to go back and pull up old invoices and make copies of them. So you're not actually just even going back to that old invoice and using it and reading it and transferring it. You're actually saying, okay, I want to make a copy of that. And that now becomes this year's invoice. So just selling it again. Just selling it again. Oh. So all that information either as attached comments or even as in individual inventory parts can be brought ahead and used as a template. And that's powerful. That saves a pile of time. It prevents customer mistakes because once it's been growing for two months, it's really hard to fix. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, or blooms and it's the wrong... Uh, <laughs> the wrong it's not the color that they were expecting because, no, we changed that two years ago to be blue instead of pale blue. You know, so, you know, those, that information gets moved as well as the Sally part of it. Mm -hmm. What about customer service? Customer service is all about communicating with your customers now. Mm -hmm. um, people buy things from you, they expect you to remember them as a person. One of the things that a good point of sale system will allow you to do is to go back and look at that customer and see what they bought. When did they buy it? And then taking that customer service the next step with a product such as Winward's WeMail is we can then go in and look at what they bought and then either sell on or sell back. And by sell on, I mean if you've sold somebody a large tree, 
next year you want to sell onto that tree to add value. So you would send them out an email saying, Mr. Smith, thank you for buying the tree last year. This year we suggest putting this fertilizer on that tree. So now we're selling onto that initial purchase a supporting service such as tree maintenance or tree fertilizer. By selling back, a customer comes in, buys a custom container or a very large wire basket. You want them to come back and have you refill that. So then you can use WeMail to get their attention to bring that product back in so you can sell that product over again. Right, so this is based on the purchases. This is based on yeah. their purchases and then integrating those purchases with a product such as, such as WeMail. So, so there are other ways of using like that WeMail communication. Uh, somebody buys a large tree that has a lot of maintenance involved in that in order to keep it alive. Oh. So you, know, you plant that in a year where there's no rain you want to make sure that your customers are looking after those trees. So you're going to send them out a wee mail on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis saying, you know, here's how to water that tree that you bought from us. At, on the surface, it looks like customer service. But what you're really doing is protecting your business from warranty work. Because if they don't water that going into the fall or in, through the summer, next spring it doesn't leaf out. They dig it out of the ground, they bring it back in, and they want a replacement. Mm. So. You know, and you can check with a good system to make sure that they bought it last year and not two years ago. But, you know, what you're trying to do then is protect yourself from callbacks. And it doesn't matter whether it's trees that you've planted or whether it's lawn equipment that should be serviced on a regular basis or any product like that. It's just a way of using the information within your system to make contact with that customer under the, the view of this is good customer service but actually what you're doing is limiting and trying to mitigate any risk of warranty work or callback work by advising and making your customer better informed. That's a powerful perspective. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's often overlooked in how you use a, the point of sale system. Great. One of the things that's been identified about customer service is if you can be sh seen to be giving good customer service, customers are actually prepared to pay more for the same product if they feel they are getting good service with that product. So that's going to translate to just bottom that's, line gross that's profit. More, that's the same product, out at the, in at the same cost, out at a higher price, better margin, more profit. And what business owner doesn't want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't met many. <laughs> yeah. Chris, from a, from a business versatility perspective, tell us a little bit about you know, what, the different types of businesses that you're working with and, and just what that all translates to. It's interesting. No two businesses are the same. You'll have uh, a garden center that has a tea room as well, a garden center that's renting out equipment. Some of them now are renting out plants. Hmm. And it's been identified as one of the new growth areas in the garden center business. And one of the beauties of a system like Windward is that you can go into the settings and license additional modules or parts that can be activated. So there's no changeover to go from having a garden center in Windward to having a garden center and a rental business at, un, under the same roof with Windward. And it's really interesting when I start talking to customers about how they want their business to work. And I get to go looking through the back end of the system and saying, well, I turned this on for this customer, I turned that on for that customer. And this is how that works together to give the customer the solution that they're looking for. Well, thank you very much for being on the show, Chris. It's been fantastic having your business owner perspective. Oh, it's been a pleasure, Kevin. Thank you. Great. And remember, at Windward Software, we help you run your business instead of just reporting on it.